Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome to Surviving Mars. Uh, I have a couple of tips for you. Hopefully, they're gonna be useful. I've played this game for a bit now, and uh, I have found some interesting stuff that might help you if you're a new beginner. Hopefully, these tips will help you in the long run. And uh, if you have any extra tips yourself, well, please do not uh, mind sharing them with the rest in the comments down below. But uh, without further ado, let's jump into them and let's see what we got. When you first start your expedition to Mars, you should always load up on orbital probes. They're gonna be very useful for you and uh, you can do a lot of good uh, exploration early on with them. As you're preparing to land, you should always go and grab your orbital probes and go and uh, scan the sectors around. Just, just so you can see if you can get some extra minerals out there, maybe some extra anomalies and then you can easily decide where you want to land your first rocket. Later on then you can scan some extra sectors that are gonna reveal eventually the whole map for you. But you can you can boost that by building some extra sensor towers, which you can also boost by researching autonomous sensors, which will then no longer require power or maintenance, so you can go ahead and build them farther out there just using your drones. The most abundant thing on Mars is of course dust. As you can imagine, the red dust is gonna be pretty much everywhere on your pipes, on your cables, on your solar panels, whatever you want them, they, that's gonna be it. It's gonna be there. Anyway, the thing that produces most dust are your extractors, like concrete extractor, your water extractor, those are gonna be all providing some dust all around them. Also, launching and landing the rockets gonna provide a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of dust around here and it's gonna it's gonna increase the maintenance of everything around the place so make sure that you put your uh, useful stuff that you don't want to be maintained like your uh, solar panels where you don't want them to maintain all the time because of the extra dust just place them somewhere away from the extractor so they're not gonna get dusty like this one over here or of course your uh, your dome that doesn't want to get dusted as well you should try and utilize supply routes using RC transports as much as possible. So your drones can do something more useful like let's say building. So you can grab you can you can load some stuff like fuel from over here and then transport it let's say over here. Unload the resource and your uh, transport is going to start working on it. It's going to pick things up over here and it's going to transfer them there. You can also go ahead and research transport optimization. It's going to make him harvest resources faster. And the storage capacity over here is going to also be higher for him. You can also utilize, and you should utilize, shuttle hubs. Those bad boys are going to transfer goods whenever you need them. So like right now they're going to go ahead and let's say pick this concrete over here. And if we need concrete over on this side, they're going to position it over here. If I let's say have to build a building that needs concrete, they're going to bring it over here because drones that live over here can't go there. Can't go over here to pick it up. So that's that's what shuttle drones are going to be shuttle hubs are going to be for. Also the shuttles will transfer will transfer your uh, colonists from one dome to another if like you have some uh, homeless people over here they're gonna transfer them to this dome over here let's say uh, where there's some maybe extra residential slots now as you start building your first dome you should not get your colonists in right away after you build your dome after it's constructed and ready to go, you should go and maybe pre-order some resources. Like you might need them. Don't don't order passengers yet. And always, this is this is mostly for higher difficulties. Always, when pre-ordering some resources, just just drop some extra food in there. Just drop some extra food in there. Your rockets can handle it. Your rockets can bring it over here. You get some extra. You get some extra resources. And uh, always, the food is always good for you. Just just bring some extra. Even though you might not need it, start stockpiling it early on. Your colonists, when they come here, they will bring each one will bring one food. Unless you're playing on the mo the easiest difficulty, uh, when then they will have a lot of more extra food. I think you even start with a lot more extra food. But if you're not, if you're playing on higher difficulties, always just bring some extra food with you. Like it's not gonna cost you too much, but it's gonna it might save you a headache in the long term. One thing you should make sure is to always have enough enough stockpiles. Like this one, Universal Depot, is not going to do anything for us in the long run. Now your harvesters are not going to just harvest the, let's say, concrete over here. They're going to also produce waste rock piles. If this piles up, you won't be able to 
uh, harvest any more concrete because this is gonna just be just gonna be swamped fully. And what you should do is you should go into storages and grab some dumping sites. Now, if you just click once, it's gonna build one. But what you can also do is click it and then hold shift while you click and you will be able to position just more than one object. You can build as many as possible and then your drones will go ahead and deliver the stuff out here so it's not going to be in your way. Later on you can also research the ability for drones to actually turn this waste rock into some concrete so you can actually clear out the pile so eventually it's not going to be just one huge pile of a dumped rock in the middle of your colony looking ugly as hell. Your explorer should be always out there looking for new an anomalies that you can research. Sometimes there's not going to be any, sometimes there's going to be a full and plenty of them. Now, important thing that you should note is some of these anomalies might give you some extra research. Now, you're going to get it right away. You're going to get, let's say, <coughs> you're going to get 5,000 research. Probably not. Like, let's say you're going to get 1,000. Now, if you don't have anything queued up over here, if you only have one, let's say, and it is missing like 500 research to finish, that's going to instantly finish it, but the rest of the 500 is just going to disappear. So always, always have this all queued up. Like, you can change later. You can right-click it and queue up something else. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, you can just go and do whatever if you don't want to do that, if you get something new. But always make sure to have your research queue full so you don't waste any research that your explorer might find out there. Now sometimes you might forget about your explorer out there exploring stuff and uh, looking for good stuff and it might drain its battery. And it's gonna be just out there, standing out there and you can't actually get it back because you know it's drained battery what you can do is grab your other vehicle let's say your transport boy that is might be just hanging back home and say hey buddy you have some capacity in your battery go over here and let's have you go recharge this thing you know you can recharge your battery or you can just send him here now he is transferring power between vehicles now if i clicked on this this would be him going to recharge from let's say this cable but uh now that i send him down here he's gonna go and he's gonna transfer power between vehicles now he's gonna transfer just enough so both of them can get back every time you start your colony you're gonna start with just some available funding it's not gonna be good, it's not gonna be great, it's not gonna last you forever. You're gonna spend it because it's gonna be useful to you. You need to spend it. So how do you get money back? Well, some um, some sponsors like Europe that I'm playing over here uh, has the ability to get money when you, when you research something. You get double when you research a breakthrough science. That's good, but still not that good. So what you should be looking for is rare metals. This is the underground rare metal deposit. It has high grade, which is good for you because you're gonna get more out of. And then you have to build a rare metal extractor. You will need colonists to work it. You can build a couple around here. It's not a problem. You need colonists. That's why this dome is here because the people from this dome is gonna work that. You need to build that. And then you either turn it into, I believe, electronics. Yes, you can turn it into electronics or maybe polymers. I'm not quite sure, but one of these. You can use the factory to do that, or you can grab it and you put it on your shuttles out here. You can export up to 30 on it, and uh, depends on your uh, uh, starting sponsor, you're gonna get money for it. Like over here, uh, we have 22 million per one rare metal, and you can uh, transport 30 right now, right from the start. Later on, you can research some more so you can transfer more. So yeah, you should always start looking for this rare metal deposit so you can have a you can have funding that's going to reveal everything. You can also get a social uh, social research over here that's repeatable and it's going to give you, each time you research, it's going to give you 500 million per tick. Next thing, specializing domes. Now this is pretty hard to do early on or pretty much almost impossible because you only have the small domes that are not going to really do much for you because you don't have much space in them. But what you can still do is let's say, hey, Let's have in one domes, let's have farms. Maybe some farms, maybe a school or something like that. And then you have, uh, or maybe a medical center. And then in this dome, you will send your botanist, and then you will send your medics in here. And they will live in here, and they will get better benefits from that. And then your other dome, you might say, hey, okay, let's have in this one, let's have maybe a factory where my engineers can work, and let's have a uh, metals extractor outside, where my, um, what are they called? The other things, 
The other people can work, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Geologist, that's what I want to say. But yeah, try specializing, not too much early on, but later on when you have better and bigger domes, you might be able to do that a bit better. You have now found a very nice sector, far away, far away no, from no. your uh, starting zone. So what you do? Well, you can't really run the cables out there, because the longer your cables are, the longer your pipes are, the faster they're gonna start breaking. So that's that's a very painful decision if you want to do that. But what you can do is build the tunnels. Now you go build the tunnels and those are gonna be connecting your power grid there and your water grid there if you want to. It's not needed, but if you want to, you can do that. You can also have it self-sufficient. And uh, you can have your shuttle uh, hub bring all the resources you're gonna need on this side. You're gonna bring the resources and you can build whatever you want. But how do you build over here? This is not connected to any of your drone hubs. You can't build? Well, you have your RC rover. The RC rover can have a bunch of drones. And you can bring it through the tunnel. And it's gonna bring its drones back with it. And then when the drones are here, they can just use the resources lying around. Either pick up the metals that are out there on the floor. Or pick up the stuff the shuttles will bring over here on your de deposits that you're gonna drop. And then your drones are gonna work for you. And you will be able to do everything in any sector out there. Know that uh, the tunnels can't be too long. I think this is for now quite the max distance like a couple of sectors in between but uh, you can have another you can have another one over here and connect to let's say over here and then over here just however you decide to do it it's gonna be easy for you you'll see now that's gonna be it for the tips and that I had for you today of course if you have any extra please don't mind sharing them in the comments down below and uh, let me know what you think of my tips also, I have a I have my own series, a Let's Play going that's coming out daily. If you're interested in it, come and give it a check. Check it out. It's a fun one. I'm having fun. It's not too advanced yet, but uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. We're gonna get out there and uh, you know just come say hi in the comments or uh, you know subscribe if you're new to the channel. There's something new, something that can be built every time. Like RimWorld, I have. Uh, uh, City Skylines running right now, so more Paradox games. Uh, but yeah, come say hi in the comments, and uh, I'll see you next time, I hope. Goodbye.